Hey guys, what is up? This is Sterling Rivera here, and yes, welcome to my next Let's Play, and it is on the one, the only, Super Mario 64. Yep, um, for those of you that remember a while back, I asked you guys to vote on uh, which game, or what console you guys want me to do my next Let's Play on. Uh, it is going to be a Nintendo 64 game, and I owned it for both the 64 and the Virtual Console, and I got the most votes for the 64 version. So yeah, this is the 64 version of Mario 64. And yeah, I've um, been wanting to do this Let's Play for a while. I haven't played this game in a pretty long time. Um, I used to be very good at this game and I'm really hoping I won't do too rusty in this Let's Play. This will be a 100% LP. Um, I will be getting all 120 stars and, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna do, uh, similar to my Crash, uh, Let's Plays, I'm gonna do one world a video, so, uh, in this video, I will tackle the first world, so, yeah, uh, but without further ado, let's get right into the game right now. Alright, so Mario needs to get that cake before someone else does. <laughs> Here we have Lack 2, who's just roaming around the castle with the camera. But yeah, uh, the reason why I chose this game for my next Let's Play is because uh, I feel like this would be a pretty good game to, you know, go back to the roots on how I originally did Let's Plays back in the day. Uh, I didn't want to do Crash, the PS1 games, just because, you know, it would be kind of boring for you guys to see the same exact games again, um, just the older versions, since you already saw the uh, End Saint Trilogy, so um, I will be doing the Crash games, just uh, not, not at the moment, so yeah, um, but I will be doing this game. And uh, I love this game a lot. It is definitely my favorite Mario game of all time. It is probably the first Mario game I've ever played. Um, and, well, obviously the first Mario game I ever played. But it's probably uh, one of the first video games I ever played as well. Along with the Crash games. I mean, I grew up with this game a lot. I've beaten it a lot of times. And it's never gotten old. And this game is really the reason why we have games today if you think about it i mean this was really the first uh 3d platforming game ever I mean, way back in 1996 and the same year that crash bandicoot came out so yeah it's, can't go wrong with it it's definitely a great game so yeah just want to get used to the controls I haven't played i last played this game last year actually because i bought the virtual console version last year and got all 120 stars on that version but of course the controls for that version are a lot different than this so yeah um enough uh, dicking around let's get right to the castle see what's in store for us and i will be reading the text so yeah good afternoon the lakitu bros here reporting live from just outside the princess's castle mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars as seasoned cameramen will be shooting from the recommended angle but you can change the camera angle by pressing the c buttons if we can't adjust the view any further we'll buzz to take a look at the surrounding stop and press c up Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. Alrighty, thank you for the tips, Lakitu. Alright, here we go, we're inside the castle. Welcome, no one's home, now scram, and don't come back. Wahaha. Yep, from the one, the only Bowser. So yeah, our journey begins in this lovely, lovely castle, and you'll be hearing this music quite a lot. So yeah, I'm not gonna... 
um, go to every single toad and read every single sign in the game. I mean, who hasn't played this game? I mean, come on. Everyone knows about this game by now. I am glad to see you, the princess and I and, well, everybody. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one with the painting of bob inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. Thank you, Toad. All right, so yeah, in this video, in the first part, we will be conquering the very first world, which is, uh, oh, stupid camera's messing up, which is none other than bob Battlefield. So we're gonna do all the levels and even the 100 coin challenge in this video. So this may be kind of a long part. And if that is the case, well, deal with it. <laughs> all right, first level, big bob -omb on the summit. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting wall, wall bleh, painting worlds. Yeah, screw it, we'll just skip it. All right. So, this is Big bob -omb on the Summit. Pretty much this level is uh, just a matter of getting to the top of the mountain that you can see. Wait, I want to get over here. We have to get to the very top of this mountain right here. All right. And let's take the shortcut. I don't feel like taking the long way. Wait, nope. <laughs> Can't do that. And yeah, this is pretty much the kind of shortcut. Uh, I can't jump, otherwise I'm gonna slide right down. So yeah, in a way this is kind of a shortcut, but not really. All right. And let's take another shortcut if we can. Yep, the magical teleporter. And here he is. I'm the big bum -omb, lord of all blessed and matter, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have udled my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Oh, I think you think wrong. Because knowing Mario, he can beat your ass like this. Boom! <laughs> All right. My advice is to try and like just walk away from him for a little bit and then, uh, then go behind them, pick him up by the ass, and then throw him. If you go, like, right up to him after he gets back up, he's gonna be doing this. Like, he will just, like, keep his eyes right on you, so that's why you gotta stay away from him for a bit, let him walk straight, and then... Boom! What? What? Can it be that a pit squeak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. All right. Yeah, I'm only gonna read the uh, the text when uh, we have to, or like when, you know, it comes up. I'm not gonna like go up to someone and then read text, so yeah, because I know that'll just be very time consuming. But here is our first star of the game, and we have 119 more stars to get, so yeah. All right. You've received one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. 
try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Wands Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Sure do. Or that will be uh, done, and uh, let's get back into the world by doing this. Backflip. <laughs> I always love doing backflips in the Pangolos. Foot race with Cooper the Quick. Alright, so this one is, like it said, a foot race. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the Big bob Omb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the Big bob Omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go! I'ma beat your ass, Koopa. And uh, you definitely cannot use any shortcuts because then he will accuse you of quote-unquote cheating. <laughs> so it's best not to use shortcuts. And uh, if there is lag in this video, I do apologize. It's, you know, because I'm playing it on the 64 and this game is 23 years old. So that's why, <laughs> that's why with the virtual console version, it runs a lot faster and smoother and even has better quality. So yeah. The game doesn't look too bad on my TV, though. So while this race is a piece of cake, I will say that we do have to race them later on. And uh, that race can be a little complicated, to say the least. We got a solid 52 seconds. And let's just do a handstand on the flagpole and wait for Koopa's slow ass to get back up here. Where you at? I can do this all day, Koopa. Oh, wait, oh, there you are. <laughs> Call yourself Koopa the Quick? I'd say Koopa the Slow. <laughs> I know, that was really shitty. I should have said something more clever. Whee! Boom! That hurt. <sighs> Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. Yeah, you better give me my star. I beat your ass with like 10, 15 seconds to spare because of how slow you are. All right, two stars. And each uh, world has uh, six stars. And then the bonus star is the 100th coin star. So yeah, and there is a DS version of this game, which uh, has um, seven stars a world, and then a bonus star, which is the 100th coin star. I used to have the DS version, but I, I uh, got rid of it when I sold my DS, so yeah. All right, this one is shoot to the island in the sky. We gotta go back to the main uh, thing. Yep, right here. It's about to say, I hope he is here. All right, we're peace-loving bob -ombs, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Yep, open up the cannons, please. Pour for bore. <laughs> Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim, then press A to fire. If you're handy, you can grab on the trees or poles to land. Yep, thanks for the advice, Pinky. That's what I like to call him. I like to call him Pinky. So yeah, this game, you know, it's... It did a great job at being the first, you know, 3D platformer. I mean, when it came out, it got a lot of, like, critical acclaim, and a lot of people loved it, and it was just such a successful game. You can't go wrong with this game at all. It is a very unique game. All right, and the star is right about here. And I do know... Uh, my good friend Esther, aka Sony Fangirl, is gonna love this Let's Play because uh, I know she is a fan of this game. She, uh, I, from what I remember, she did play this game a lot on her channel. So yeah, 
You received three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Yeah, well, if they'll be meaner, then I'll be tougher. <laughs> All right, find the eight red coins. And yeah, this is going to be the first of many red coins challenges. And a lot of you should know that I am not a fan of red coins because they can be placed in some stupid areas for some levels at least so yeah like some levels have some dumb uh, red coin challenges but I will still get through them through the thick and thin and like I said I'm really hoping I won't be doing too rusty in this game you know I haven't played this version in a while last year I played the six or the, the virtual console version so I kind of, rem I do remember a lot how to do certain things, so. Alright, five. I do know, I believe one of the red coins is down here. Yep. As well as an extra life. Open the gate up. Open the goddamn gate. <laughs> I believe, well I know uh, two of the red coins are, oh shit, stupid ch chain jump. One of the red coins we did see earlier when we were going on that really slow walkway right here. Right about here, all right. Go Mario, go Mario, pick up them legs, go, go, go. Go, go, go! <sighs> Takes a lot out of me, jeez. <laughs> All right, I believe the uh, the last red coin is probably on the island. So if that's the case, I might have to launch myself over there. Bam, bam. Yep, I see it over there. We oh. And I'm not really going to explain a whole lot of... I'm going to try at least to not explain a whole lot of things in this game. Because again, you know, this is a game that a lot of people have played. People know about this game. It's all over YouTube. This game is, you know, it's been done to death, you know, so many times. It's one of the most overplayed games for Let's Plays. So I'm not really going to explain much. So yeah, let's blast into the star. All right, and let's aim right in the middle for this coin, and boom, star's over there. I think one time I actually managed to shoot myself out of that cannon and land right in the star, and I literally screamed because of how amazing that was. Okay. Next level is Mario Wings to the Sky. This level we cannot do just because uh, there is a particular thing that we need in order to get the star. Um, there is a ability, I mean you guys should know what it is, the wing cap. We don't have the wing cap yet, uh, we need a certain amount of stars and then we go into the uh, center the main lobby of the castle, so instead I'm gonna get this star right here. Wait. Oh crap, I was gonna wait for him to attack. Oh, come on, Mario. Alright, that was close, I almost died. <laughs> it's hard to see with this fat chain chomp moving everywhere <laughs> all right you really gotta wonder where does he go <laughs> he just like completely disappears all right so i kind of forgot how many stars you need to get uh, in order to obtain or get to the wing cap area um because right here, yeah, right here, you stand right here and look up 
when there's a shining light. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, do the 100 coin challenge. And then uh, if I don't, if the star doesn't, or if the light doesn't come on, then I'll just do a, a bonus star. I'll do castle stars uh, in between, so yeah. All right, so. Wait, let me ground pound the Koopa, because I know I can get a, a blue coin. There we go. Yeah, let's uh, surf on the shell, shall we? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well that didn't work. So yeah, with these uh, 100 coin challenges, you're better off just fast forwarding because I'm going to be going through the whole level, killing enemies, getting coins, so nothing special. And these bottoms. I wonder what would happen if you threw one of these at Chain Chomp. I never tried it. Oh, <laughs> it flies up. Get the red coin. Alright. And then uh, kill some bub bombs down here. Alright, fix the camera. Alright, there's another bub bomb. Come back here. Come here. There we go. <clears throat> Try and throw this at the wall. I'd like to throw it at the wall and be safe so I can get all the coins. There they are. I was wondering where they went. Okay, I'll get that red coin. Oh shit. And that's gonna happen a lot. When I try to do a long jump, I'll accidentally do a uh, ground pound, even though I literally hit the uh, Z button before A. You know, it happens. Kill two bob bombs for the price of one. Oh, that couldn't happen. Boom, there we go, that's more like it. Oh. Kill that. I believe, do we already kill this one? They do respawn. All right, we didn't kill that one. When they do respawn, uh, you don't get the coins again, so yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, Goomba. The Goombas in this game definitely uh, don't look the greatest. They definitely uh, improved later on. I love the music in this game a lot. You can't go wrong with it at all. It takes me back to the good old days of my childhood gaming. Shoot. Get the coin. These bubbles are getting really annoying. Okay. Ground pound these, and then we get a bunch of coins, I believe. Do we? No, actually, I think we have to run around them. Yep, there we go. I wonder if I can run around this one that I ground pounded. Nope. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're halfway there. Throw this at a wall, get the coins from it. 
There we go. Okay, we just need 40 more coins. I see some right here. Extra life. Kill the bomb. Right. I don't know why I keep hitting the R button. My finger keeps touching it. Okay. Leave. I killed all the bob in this area. But let's just kill them again, just to make sure. Oh. Alright, looks like I did kill all the bob after all. Oh, shit. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's get that red coin. Fuck it. And then fall back down. And I think what I should do actually, um, I actually used to do this for last, is uh, I would go to the uh, the island up above my head and uh, get the coins that are in the air. And then I would have to uh, get the star that was uh, in the air. And it would, would be such a pain in the ass. So, like, I would get 100 coins by getting these. And, uh, yeah, like, the star would spawn, like, right in the middle of the sky. And when I didn't have the wing cap, I, uh, you know, had to do it by the cannon. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get a good chunk of coins in the sky. Okay. 84. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, stupid bubble landed right on me. Actually, no, I want to get, I wanted to get these coins first. That's what I should have done. Oh, and then there's coins here. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, let's get back to that island. And I guarantee I have to get the fucking star, um, in midair. Eight red coins, which gives us the invisible star. So, let's just uh, try and get four more coins. Hopefully it won't be too hard. Oh, we just need one more. One more coin. One more coin. Which I could probably get from a freaking bob -omb. That I didn't kill, but I killed all of them pretty much. So, come on, Mario, we're being dumb. <laughs> okay, we just need one more stinking coin, which uh, let me see what would be the best possible one to get. I mean, there is this one. Wait, there is this one that's uh right here, right above Mario's hat. I could probably do a triple jump to get it. Yep. And then probably just use the cannon to get it. Let's try that, Let's see if that works. We'll just blast right into the star. And... Oh, what the fuck? It was aiming right for it too, that was stupid. You guys saw that, the, the freaking aim was right for it. I think I probably had to be a little bit more up, but still, that was really dumb. All right. And the 
freaking bubble got me when I went into the cannon. How dumb was that? Oh, I landed right in the next cannon. How awesome. All right. I'd say right about... There we go. Awesome. Okay. So we got the... Uh, the six stars out of the seven stars from uh, bob -On Battlefield. So now, all right, we still don't have the light. So in the meantime, we are going to be doing uh, some castle stars. Um, one castle star that we can easily knock out is one that's in here. Um, this is World 3 Jolly Roger Bay, but we're going to do the bonus star, the castle star that's in here if I can get up in there there we go all right and yes this is one of the few swimming levels that we get to do and oh my god I love the swimming music in this game just listen how peaceful it is So freaking amazing, man. It's very, very relaxing music. It's very calm, very catchy. I love this music. It's probably in my top five favorite music tracks of this game. So it's just a real basic challenge. We're just finding eight red coins, as you can see. Now we just need one more, wherever it is at. Bum, bum. Right there, right there. All right, there we have it. See if we got uh, the light to come down. Yeah, I, I forgot how much stars you need in order for that light to come down, but let's just see. And nope. All right, so we'll do uh, some more castle stars then. <laughs> it's a good idea to do the castle stars now, even uh, just to you know knock them out, so I don't have to do them any other time. All right. So there's two stars we can get in this area. The first is just by com getting to the end, and then uh, you come here again and you have to race it like under a particular time. I think you have to beat like your best time or something, which uh, I can just slow down a little bit. I think you have to beat it under like 21 seconds or something, so. Stars right there. Ground pound star. All right. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star, but Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? No, I cannot. <laughs> Yeah, we are not going to be going for Bowser just yet. Not until I uh, complete the all the worlds that are in this area. Alright, so let's get the other star that is here. Alright, so yeah, we just have to uh, get to the end as fast as we can. Racing, uh, we just have to beat a really good time. Oh, shit! I did not mean to do that. Thankfully, we do not uh, lose a life from that. Because that would suck. Even though we got seven lives. Alright. Let's try that again. Let's breakdance this bitch.
There we go. Ooh, I did a nice uh, roll. <laughs> Get the star, Mario. Ground pound it again. All right. And still no lights, huh? Hmm. Well, uh, are there any other castle stars I can do? I don't think there is. No. Nah. So, uh, I think that's it for uh, this part of my Super Mario 64 LP. Um, in the next part, we will tackle the second world and then we'll get the uh, wing cap and finish off uh, the first world above on Battlefield. So, I thought I was going to be able to. I don't. I think you need like probably 10 or more stars, maybe 12 stars for the light to come here. So. Yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed uh, this first part of uh, my brand new Let's Play of Mario 64. And I hope you guys uh, look forward to this Let's Play. Um, so, yeah.